Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be giving you an overview of the new style tag, which was added in the recent beta release of Text Mesh Pro, which is beta 2 for Unity 5. Now, what is this style tag for and how do you use it? Well, as you may know, there's now over two dozen rich text tags available in Text Mesh Pro to allow you to uh, better format or style your text. Now, the challenge with having so many tags is as you start to use them back to back to achieve the desired result, uh, it makes your text input box a little bit convoluted. In addition, you may find yourself often using the same tag combinations to do similar things like a title uh, or some uh, uh, like let's say you're doing like a quote and so on and so forth. So similar to a CSS style class, um, the style tag in Text Mesh Pro is to be considered sort of the same way where it allows you to combine multiple tags into a single one for convenience. So how does this work? So in the resource folder of Text Mesh Pro, there is a new uh, asset type, which is a Text Mesh Pro default style sheet. There's only one uh, for the entire project because you don't need more than one and if I select it this style sheet contains all the different styles that you have defined now in this case I've only got four and as you select them you can select them to basically delete them or you can basically just hit plus to add new ones so I'll remove the last one that's here but if actually just to show a quick thing if I hit plus twice once it adds it here plus again hey it didn't show up actually there's a page so we're seeing page one of two so I can go to page two and see the additional tags there so you can add as many tags as you want so let me get rid of the ones that we're not using and explain how they actually work so the way the tags are defined is pretty straightforward. You're going to give it a name and then you'll define what tags are used when you open. So when you go style equal whatever name like H1 for example, this is what tags would be used. And then the closing tag which is when you go slash style, this is what would happen. So for example, if we look at this title tag here, um, this title tag would basically set the size of the text to 125%. It would make it bold and it would align its center. And then we, when we close it out, it would end the size, end the bold, and end the alignment. So let's actually go and take a look at this. So I'm going to remove this text. And let's add our title. So I'm going to say title. So the way we would normally have to do it with tags is we go size equal 125%. Then we would say we want it to be bold and we would say we want it to be align equal center. And obviously since we only want to affect that single line, we would have to say slash size to end the size modifier slash B and slash align. So now we've basically created our title uh, equivalent style. But as you see in the text input box, we've got all these tags back to back, which makes it hard to kind of read the text. And again, if you use this often, it's a lot of typing for uh, kind of no reason. And given that I'm lazy, I like the new style tag. So let me erase all of this and instead go style equal. In this case, we call the title. Now you can use quotes or not. Um, since again I'm lazy I'm not using the quotes and then we'll end it there so as you can see we now have this style title tag that anytime we use it it does the things um, it increases the size adds bold and lines it now what's kind of cool is once the tag is in use you can actually go back and modify these and say you know what I'd like all my titles from now on to be kind of a, a greenish color you know forever um, so here close out the color so now you can actually modify them once they're actually in use which is you know very convenient so that's basically it for this style tag as you can see it's not an overly complex feature yet it's a very powerful and useful tool to allow you to create all these predefined styles that you may use in your title or project um, so that's basically it for this video uh, as I said, this is now available in the latest release of Text Mesh Pro, which is Beta 2 for Unity 5. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please uh, feel free to post. Thank you for watching.